in its final sprint, the presidential race is coming down to a dead heat and quickly turning into a political Russia. dogfight. Hillary likes to play tough with Russia. Uh, Putin looks at her and he laughs. He says he has a secret plan to defeat ISIS. But the secret is he has no plan. Today, Donald Trump is looking to bolster his national security credentials. We got problems, folks. We have to figure it out. And if we don't figure it out, we have to be careful and vigilant and strong. While Clinton jabs at Trump for lacking the temperament to be commander in chief. We're going to work with our allies, not insult them. We're going to stand up to our adversaries, not cozy up to them. That's as a new CNN ORC poll shows him trailing Clinton by five points on the commander in chief test. Trump appearing with retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Michael Flynn as he slammed Clinton's leadership Russia. abilities and called Russia for closer ties with Russia. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? We have to get along with certain nations, very importantly, because it would be awfully good to have Russia and others with us on major attacks on ISIS. The Trump campaign also rolling out a roster of 88 retired military leaders who say they're backing the bombastic billionaire, but not without some reservations. I think they are working in the right direction. And again, I'm here because some of his people on his campaign reached out to me. So yes, you're not doing it perfectly, but you're getting there. That as Clinton tries to make the case that Trump is too big a risk to take with America's national security. This November, the American people have a big choice to make when it comes to national security. On the one hand, we have Donald Trump, who has called the American military a disaster, who disrespects our military leaders by saying, and I quote, I know more about ISIS than the generals do. And Trump kept up the heat against Hillary Clinton when it came to national security at an event in North Carolina. He said her behavior when it came to her private email server was disqualifying. He called her out for destroying communications devices, for wiping her email, and called it shady activity. Sarah Murray, CNN, Greenville, North Carolina.